How's it going everybody? So this tutorial is really just about how to navigate your content management system for your mobile app. When you first launch in here it could seem a little bit overwhelming but it's really a lot simpler than you may think. So I'm going to go over a few things. On the left hand side if you want to check your analytics click analytics and you can start diving in here. We have more tutorials on how the analytic systems work, but I'm just going to point out where things are. If you want to send out push notifications to your customers, click on push notes, and you can easily send out push notes from here in multiple different ways. If you want to promote your mobile application, you can do so here. If you want to check out the submitted data, which would be how many people are filling out your email forms, or how many mobile food orderings, are being purchased or how many people are joining your mailing list and I will note this is a demo app so there's not much data in here but once you launch your app you'll start to see a lot of data populating into this area if you want to adjust the design of your mobile app you can easily do so by going to edit and then design and then if you really want to kind of get a grasp on this you can take our, our quick tour of the content management system that we built for you as a small business owner so this is where you adjust your feature styling previously was this is how you adjust the layout and your home screen if you want to change the colors a little bit this is where you do it and we really just walk you through it step by step and always understand you can preview your app on multiple devices at any time so if you make a change and you want to see how it looks, just fire up these preview tools and you'll be able to see how your app looks in real time. So pretty cool. And you can also do that on Android and every other device uh, that we offer. So this is the Android version and then this is the HTML5 version. Pretty cool. And another thing I want to point out too is the build section. So if you want to add or remove certain features, it's really easy to do. So to remove a feature, simply click the radio button next to it, click the trash can, and it will delete the feature from your mobile application. If you want to add a new feature, click add new feature, and pick the one you want, and then go ahead and add it. And if you want to learn how to utilize those features, click the help desk and from here we have articles on pretty much every single feature that we offer and you'll be able to go over these and learn how to set these up within your mobile application within minutes and then also if you want a quick tutorial on how the build section works click uh, follow the onboarding feature but this will go over just what I told you you can add features here. You can adjust the app icon here just by clicking on it. Don't like the app icon that uh, is currently enabled. Just hover over this icon and we can swap in something better. Your inactive features will be included down here. That's if you hit this toggle bar right here. It'll deactivate the feature in case you want to maybe enable it later. This could be maybe you have a event running at a certain time or a feature that's you know seasonal you can deactivate it and then reactivate it later and then this is where you save your changes up at the top and then you can preview your app at any time so I hope this demo was helpful just giving you a brief overview of the CMS for your mobile application there's a lot you can do in here and again it can seem overwhelming but rest assured we're here to help you along every step of the way so if you have any questions, just let us know, and we look forward to seeing your app being successful. Thanks, everyone.